I'm about to do something that is really, really risky just to find out if Windows 11 is ready or still a pile of For the next three weeks, I will be traveling to Italy and Greece and I decided to only take my laptop, which has just been updated to Windows 11. The next bit you will see will be filmed in three weeks time when I return, so wish me luck. Three weeks later. Buongiorno! I am back and oh boy did I learn some stuff about Windows 11 so let's talk about the good, the interesting and insanely frustrating. <sighs> okay, brace yourself. Here comes the ridiculously stupid bits of Windows 11 and possibly the reason you may not want to push that update button. <sighs> There are two elements of Windows 11 that made me so frustrated that I literally slammed my laptop and had to walk away. This happened again and again and again. Okay, the first. For some unknown godly reason, Windows 11 would not connect to unprotected Wi-Fi's. What the actual <laughs> Wi-Fi's with password? No problem. Click into the password and connect and stay connected. But you know those hotels and airports where you have to first connect an unprotected Wi-Fi, then you get to a portal where you've got to put in like your room number or watch some awful ad before they allow you to go online? Apparently, that is just way too much for Windows 11 to handle and it just wouldn't connect at all. And to make matters worse, as if to really, really piss me off, it wasn't like that all the time. Some hotels unprotected Wi-Fi works perfectly fine, whilst others, didn't work at all. And the second reason that really is just a beyond me, why on God's green earth can you no longer drag a file from a folder, hover it over the taskbar, let it open up an app, and let it just open that file? Why not? This was a perfectly useful gesture that we had in Windows 10 and even before that. So now if you wanna drag a bunch of files from your photo folder and drop them into Google Drive, you have this balancing act of having two windows open, not on top of each other, where you can drag and drop it. It makes no sense. I, I, I'm getting irritated just thinking about that. Okay. All right, the interesting. Well, compatibility was an interesting one. My Bluetooth mouse just worked, and so did my Bluetooth headphones, which I used for hours a day. So, another thumbs up, or two. Now, where it gets interesting is when I urgently needed to scan a document. The hotel had a scanner that looked like it was probably one of the first to come off the production line back in 2001. It certainly did not like Windows 11 one bit. Coincidentally, the HP printer that also looked like it pretty much followed the scanner of that production line just worked, just connected, printed with no issue. So. Heads up, if you have very specific peripherals like 3D printers or old hardware or scanners or even a fax machine, you are going to have issues with Windows 11. So just make sure that they are compatible, especially if it's core to what you do. Let's talk about the good. Well, we all know that when Windows 11 first came out, it had serious issues with hardware and software. For me, it was just unusable with so many issues that I nuked it, pretty much after I installed it. So how is it now after several updates and patches? Well, I'm happy to report that this is no longer the case and Windows 11 is officially usable now. And before you immediately head to the comments to complain about how it doesn't work for you, let me clarify my setup. I loaded Windows 11 on my LG Ultrabook, which is pretty decently spec laptop with a Core i7 processor and 32 gigs of RAM. I then installed Office 365 apps such as Outlook, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint because you never know when you have to give an impromptu presentation. Turns out I didn't need to worry as everything just worked. Word was wording, Excel was excelling, Steam was uh, steaming, and not a single issue with anything on my local machine. I will say that my hardware specs obviously did help ensure that Windows 11 had enough processing power and enough memory, and if you have a lower spec machine, it may not be performing as well. So, if you're asking me today if you should install Windows 11, my answer is just, eh, maybe? I used Windows 11 for three weeks and didn't hate it. In fact, it was fine. I am not uninstalling it from my laptop. I'm gonna keep using it. The biggest issue for Windows 11 is that there isn't a wow reason to upgrade to it. It still has nothing that Windows 10 doesn't have for the average person. Windows 10 is still gonna be supported for several years, and by then we probably rumored to have Windows 12, so who knows what that will bring. So why would you wanna jump from a well-seasoned Windows 10 into a newish Windows 11 with possible issues? I don't know, but I'm telling you, if you don't upgrade, you're pretty much not missing anything yet. 
Now, if you're a Windows 11 user, I would love to know what you think about Windows 11. If you're still with Windows 10, check out this video over here that every Windows 10 user should see, or check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe just because you're epic, and I'll see you in this video or this video, or I'll see you in both. Let's go.